Hey guys, Jemmy God here, and today I'm going to be showing you the Dandy Animated Super Freak Witch. Now a few months ago I got the Down Under Skull, and I said in that video that there was a witch version of it, and I was debating on whether or not to get one to pair it with the Grim Reaper, but after seeing one of these go for such a cheap price on eBay, I definitely had to get it. And I believe it was... Was it Brandon in the Box? No, but, but compare this to how much the others were being listed for on eBay. This one was going up for $35 free shipping, so I couldn't pass it up. Plus, this one actually came with the original box and the tags. There was another one on eBay, new in box with the tags as well, but that one was going up for at least twice as much. So it was about $75 to nearly $100, and there was no way I was going to pay that much for something um, as unique as this. And I'll grant that probably they raised the price because of how big this thing truly is in person. Like I said, it's about the size of a pop culture character, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, that said, I'm really happy to have this along with the Reaper now. Now, when I first tested it out, it was kind of moving on and off. And I was thinking maybe it was because of a loose wire on the motor. But when I opened it up, it turns out it was, surprise, surprise, a split 10 tooth gear, just like with the Reaper. At least with the Grim Reaper, the gear was still making contact, but it was making the movement noisy as hell. With the Witch, on the other hand, the gear just pretty much fell out of place, so I had to get a brand new 10-tooth gear, and the disassembly procedure on this was not as simplistic as the Reaper. It has the same pipe, but it's structured a bit differently. It's more of a smooth pipe that holds the head in place rather than a um, jagged pipe like the Grim Reaper's is. Plus, the hair is actually a separate piece that's glued onto the Witch's head, so... After dismantling all that, replacing the gear, and then gluing everything back together, here she sits. And, uh, I didn't even change the batteries yet. Um, she, the current batteries in her have the expiration date of 2019, so they expired about two years ago, yet they still work. So I'll probably get her some brand new batteries soon. But for now, she works, and that's all that matters. But anyways, the witch sways around and her eyes light up as she sings a short Halloween parody of Super Freak. And let me say for the record, it's nowhere near as good as Jemmy's version of the Super Freak song. But uh, let me just show you what you guys are in for. I'm a very freaky girl. The kind you don't take home from my back. I will never let your spirit down. When it's hard to trick the teeth. Have the Halloween. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to Super Freak. Super Freak. Let's go to Super Freak. Yeah, that, that version of Super Freak sounds really rushed, and without question, I definitely prefer Jemmy's version over the Dandy version. Alright, let's take her out of the box and take a look at the uh, box itself. <laughs> it says, I sing and dance, Super Freak Witch. Try me, light up. Try me, I sing and dance, Super Freak Witch. Here's the back. Dan D, requires three AA batteries. Try Me, Icing and Dance, Super Freak Witch. And the bottom, which is a plain white. Now here are the tags. Uh, it's hard to see, but it says, Try Me, Light Up, Icing and Dance to Super Freak. The back, and then the other tags. Sold for $20 in the USA, but $27 in Canada. Here it says, for decorative purposes only, not a toy. Now on to the overview of the character herself. I mean, compare this to uh, Dandy's Halloween stuff nowadays. Like, it looks very tame compared to this. And that's a shame, because the looks of this thing is just absolutely demonic. Yeah, try sleeping with this in your room. <laughs> Staring at you across the floor with those soulless black hole eye sockets with the red LED lights that light up. And uh, with her hairstyle, I think she's supposed to be inspired by Rick James, the creator of the song. But her hairstyle makes her look more like a uh, pop culture icon Weird Al Yankovic. Just saying. And then here are the hands. Um, they look more like witch hands, and they seem to fit the character better than the Grim Reapers, which should have been bony hands instead of human hands. And then the button on the dress. And, uh, yeah, it has pretty much the same materials as the Reaper. 
since both um characters were made pretty much um side by side. Here's the hat. I'm not even gonna dare try to fix the hat. I'm leaving it exactly the way it is here because yeah, I don't want to like mess with the head. And here's the back. And I know the module kind of sticks out a bit, but that's just the way it was made. And if you guys want to see the uh, inside, there you go. There's the pipe. And then uh, there are like two square holes where the uh, LEDs run into, the wires that go to the LEDs. Other side. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I guess we'll go ahead and uh, play her a couple more times. So here we go again. time. And there you go, guys. That's the dandy animated Super Freak Witch. I really love the looks of this thing because... I mean, just just look at that face one last time before we go. That kind of looks like legit creepy pasta material, if you ask me. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's all I have to say for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.